Speaker, thank you for giving me this opportunity to make this personal explanation. At yesterday's MOM COS, I was hoping to ask the Manpower Minister a very important point about the displacement of Singaporean PMEs. It was not my intent to impugn the speaker or the parliamentary processes. But in my social media post, I was trying to highlight that some amount of discretion and flexibility with the standing orders will go a long way in enhancing our discussion in this house. But today, I would like to sincerely and unreservedly apologize to the speaker and this house for my Facebook comments of 12.52 p.m. and 12.53 p.m. on 7 March 2022 and the video I posted at 6.55 p.m. on 7 March 2022. And the statements therein, which impugn the speaker and the processes of the parliament. I've taken the post down at 5.30 today. I withdraw what I say in them and undertake not to repeat such words again. I acknowledge that I not set out all the facts in my post and thus gave a misleading impression. Thank you. Order, Deputy Leader. Mr. Speaker, may I also confirm if the member will be putting up an apology on Facebook as I requested? Mr. Leon. Speaker, in reply to SMS uh, uh, question, I confirm that I'll put what I say just now on my Facebook. Mr. Speaker, Parliament is a place for us to debate important issues that affect Singapore and Singaporeans. We have in this House developed a set of procedures and practices to guide us on how we are to do this in an effective and efficient manner. In other jurisdictions, there are examples where we, see, where we see such procedural rules and how they are used to prevent or frustrate the government of the day from carrying out its proper functions. It would be completely contrary to our interests for this to occur in this house. The rules have been designed and fine-tuned over the years and have worked in ensuring that important issues to us are brought up before the House and robustly debated while allowing business to be completed without undue delay. Mr Leong himself should acknowledge this. We had a long debate on the motions on the topic of Singaporeans' jobs and our foreign talent policy just six months ago, which we spent hours debating, this, debating here. And in this year's COS, more than 600 cuts were fought. And we are looking at more than 50 hours of debate. So I don't think anyone can reasonably say that the budget was not extensively debated. There are also avenues for issues to be raised in subsequent sittings. So I would ho therefore hope that members would bear this in mind and remember that we are all representatives of this House. And we should resist any attempt to lower the standing or dignity of this House. We all play a part in ensuring that robust debate can take place here and that Parliament remains a trusted and respected institution. And where all these issues, where issues can be raised fairly 
and can be scrutinized by the public. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I accept the apology.